Satan avoids these people. Reverend Dr. Holly Namokyun, pastor, United Methodist Church, translator, Mrs. Irene Park, reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. I deeply thank my son Jacob for reading this English video and also thank Mrs. Irene Iron Park from translating from Korean to English. Uh, thank you very much for making this video possible with your help and cooperation. 감사합니다. I ask the Lord to teach me about the most fatal weakness of Satan. Only then we could prevent his attacks and triumph instead. Ever since I started Heavenly Newsroom, Satan has been attacking me in various ways. Then the Lord asks, have you ever thought of the ways which make Satan avoid you rather than attack you? Satan does not attack all the time. Sometimes he even avoids to stay away. Search what that is. So I ask, what kind of saints does he avoid? He avoids those who have the scent of Christ. Everyone has a unique smell or scent and they are people who give off my fragrance. What kind of saints are they? Instead of us trying to avoid Satan, we ought to make Satan avoid us. Please show us the secret. The one who broke the alabaster jar. When a person breaks the outer man and reveals me, Satan escapes because of my aroma. When Maria poured the expensive perfume oil from a beautiful alabaster jar, the aroma covered the whole village. It was not the scent of Maria, but that of perfumed oil. When you break your alabaster jar, which is yourself, my scent, which is in you, goes out. Satan knows quite well what you smell like. It is the smell of money, fame, and lewdness. But when the alabaster jar is finally shattered, my scent covers the whole earth. Satan cannot withstand my fragrance. Satan not only discerns by your clothing, but also knows to whom you belong by the scent. The smell of those who belong to Satan is that of rotten fish. The one who abides in me. What happens to a fish which is stored at a room temperature for a long time? It goes rotten. That's exactly it. If you were a fish, where would you have to be? Live fish ought to be in the sea, and dead fish ought to be stored in a refrigerator. Correct. As there is an ocean for fish, you need a place where you can breathe and live. It is called the sea of my bosom. It is like the river of life where fish can freely swim. They enjoy life and freedom in it. Therefore, Satan knows the scent of my people. It is the aroma of life and freedom. Satan avoids those abide in me. The one who reveals my will. What is my will toward you? If you give thanks, pray, and be joyful, that is fulfilling my will toward you. What does it mean to be thankful all the time? It means to trust my will in everything and be thankful for it. What does it mean to pray? It means you ask my will without ceasing and pray. What does it mean to be joyful always? It means to know that my will is perfect for you and be joyful for that. Likewise, if you pray for my will toward you without going faster than me and be thankful and joyful, Satan will avoid you. 
where there is thanksgiving, prayer, and joy, my aroma is revealed, and Satan will avoid. Your will has a fish-like rotten smell, but where my will is revealed, there is my holy fragrance flowing. The Anointed Anointing comes from heaven. The moment Satan attacks the anointed, he will slip. Anointing is heavenly power. Satan recognizes the anointed first. That is the reason why he attacked me, because he knew I was God who would destroy him. The reason Satan attacked me was to make me obey like Adam did, so that God's will may not be accomplished. But since I triumph, he avoids the anointed. Because he is aware of the fact that there is the anointed Messiah behind them. Devils recognize my fragrance. That aroma is holy anointing from heaven. That is the aroma of Messiah, the anointed. When they see you under that anointing, they smell the scent of the Messiah who is behind you, and they evade as fast as they can. The one who has the scent of a baby, the trusting. A baby does not have any fear and trust the parents 100%. To a person who is 0% to oneself, I appear as 100%. A baby trusts parents totally, what to receive and when to receive. All they need is only trust. That is why there is no fear. To the fearless, it is not possible to attack. Because there is no crevice or crack. When someone comes to kill a baby, the baby is not afraid, only smiles. For those who trust God totally, with such childlike faith, Satan avoids. Because even if he attacks, there is no crack where he could enter. Those saints have the fragrance of a baby. It is a pure scent, which is impossible to imitate. That is 100% of my fragrance. Home where there is holy communion, Satan avoids. The most fatal attack on Satan is my blood and flesh. It is the Lord's Supper. My blood represents life, and my body represents freedom. Therefore, a home where there is life and freedom cannot be attacked. That was the reason for the spirit of death to skip over those homes during Passover. Even if there is no daily communion observed, if there is life and freedom, worship and praise, Satan cannot touch those homes. Because I become their hedge and protective shield, Satan knows the smell of my blood and my body. The aroma of life and freedom since Satan suffered a crushing defeat in front of it, the spirit of death escapes to keep away. The one who can identify Satan and confront. Satan knows the scent of the word. So, if you confront with the scriptures, devils will flee. Devils escape from those who confront but they are strong towards those who flee. That is why the full armor of God does not have any weapon on the back. Satan is weak towards the strong, and he is strong toward the weak. You must fight Satan with the word to make him flee. There is scent in the word as well. It is the aroma of holy food in heaven. It is the set which belongs to heaven. It is the hue of gold. As there are decayed, rotten foods, there are definitely 
aromatic foods which everybody wants to eat. The word which belongs to heaven and came from heaven smells holy and sacred. This word is me. Where I am, Satan has to stay away in order for him to live. My word is everlasting, and it is the sword of victory. What crushed Satan was also the power of my word. Do you like perfumes? I do not use any perfume, but for Americans, it seems essential. During anointing meetings, many people have asked me as I pass by them if I use any perfume. They said they could smell some kind of fragrance from my body. Perfume is an artificial scent which you use in order to cover one smell. That may hide the smell for a while, but repulsive smell can make you vomit. Do you remember the leprosy of Naaman? That is the odor of hidden sins. No matter how much you try to hide it with an armor, you cannot hide the decaying odor from inside. Cover yourself with sacred, fresh, and holy aroma of heaven. Then Satan will not be able to attack you. Instead, he will flee from you. So the conclusion is that in order to conquer, I must hide my own smell and become a saint with the fragrance of the Lord. Satan's fatal weakness was exactly this. When Christ is revealed through us and his fragrance is present, Satan avoids us and flee. I always thought Satan constantly attacks us and as a result, I blame Satan for my weaknesses. That is right. It is wrong to be unaware of, ignore, or overlook Satan's attacks. But it is more cowardly to blame everything on Satan as Adam shifted the responsibility of sin to Eve. Acknowledge your mistakes, weaknesses, laziness, and idleness. I will become the fragrance of your life. Amen, hallelujah, thank you. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle. 365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children. Theory and Praxis of Land Work, The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days, My Beloved Bride, Heal as I Reveal. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Yun Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bum Yun former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. In Hebrew, menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.